岁月已经远去，掩饰不住心里的慌乱。尽管已经一把年纪，爱没有界限，每个人都有权利。爱不分高低，就像春风吹拂大地。我大声喊出我爱你，你听没听见都有你。只要阳光伴随着你，那感动才有意义。我热烈的手望着你，你的笑就是个奇迹。只要幸福伴随着你，我生命就不可惜。Come on, I bet it wasn't that hard. Huh. Honey, you don't know how it works. This is harder. Trust me, it's harder than doing it normally. Shh. You listen carefully. From now on, I'm the only one allowed to determine what's going to happen to you. Do you understand? <laughs> Let's go home. But honey, I have a lot of things to do in this store. <laughs> How can you decline my invitation to go home? <laughs> you really can't <laughs> wait, huh? Come on, let's go. Honey, I feel embarrassed. <laughs> Why are you embarrassed? I'm Whoa. your wife. If you don't walk faster, I'll hit no, no, you. See, I'm walking fast. Come on, Stop hitting me. Let's still go home. fast let's enough. Go home. I'll hit you. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> this way, this way, this way. <laughs> Understand. I'll call you tomorrow instead. Okay. All right then. Thanks. Bye. Hey. 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 I said wake up. I want to order some food. I'm sorry, ma'am, but the kitchen isn't open yet. The cooks are all asleep. Maybe you could go somewhere else for now. Your door was open, so why can't I order? Our boss is the one who makes our schedule. We rest from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. So if you want to complain, you can talk to my boss directly. Hey, what's with the attitude, huh? I'm telling you, if I were your boss, I would fire right now without a moment's hesitation. What happened? Trinity, the clients are always right. Trinity, what's going on here? I already explained to this woman that we're on break and we'll resume at four, but she won't listen. How unprofessional! You? You? What a coincidence! <laughs> what are you doing here? It's all right. You can go now. I know this girl. Excuse me. So this, this is your restaurant? Yeah. You haven't eaten yet? No, I've only had biscuits during a small business meeting. And I'm about to starve, to be honest. Tiger! Tiger! What? Oh, what are you yelling about, Sammy? I was just about just to hurry. sleep. I haven't had proper sleep for days. This is your husband? Yes, this is Tiger. Oh, he's handsome. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Did I tell you about Miss A? No. I... She once dated Ernest. <laughs> so... So you mean she's... Oh, never mind. I'll explain it to you next time. Go now. Go and Sammy, cook. Sammy, what are you planning Go to do? the kitchen. What are you... Hurry and cook Sammy, some food. Hurry, not... hurry. Go. Amanda, oh, please okay, sit. thanks. I promise that in 10 minutes you'll be eating delicious food. Oh, thanks. That's great. So, Miss A, how are you? Please don't call me Miss A. Amanda. Amanda. Oh. Or if you want, you can call me using my Chinese name instead. Golden Flower Wang. Oh. Just choose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nice place. So how are you doing, Amanda? Are you single? Did you find someone? Oh, I'm still single. I can't believe how a beautiful and established woman like you is still single. Did you set your standards too high? I'm right, ain't I? 
How to put it? All right, I think it would hurt to tell you this. Maybe that's it. They're too high. Yes. But you know, I'm complicated. It's crazy. I can't seem to be pleased. That's why I've been single for too long. Ugh. My mom keeps snagging me. It's very annoying. Hey, what about Ernest? He should have a kid by now, right? What a coincidence. What do you mean, what a coincidence? Well, my brother's marriage didn't work out either. Actually, he's single right now. Really? Come on, carefully. One more step. Very good. Let's try the swing. Hello. Oh. <laughs> hi, baby. Uh, say hi oh, to what Grandma. What a very cute kid. She sounded so playful. <laughs> yes. Is she your granddaughter? Come on, call her Grandma. Hi. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Oh, wow, look, I admire your legs. It still looks strong. <laughs> it has to be, because carrying her around is tiring. I've been watching over her for three years. <laughs> but at least you're a happy grandmother, oh. even though you're oh. tired, right? And how about you? How old is your grandchild? Uh, I have none. Oh, <laughs> you need to hurry then. If you have one once you're too old, you might not be able to take care of them. <laughs> how I wish I had one. Honey, say bye to grandma. Bye, say bye, grandma. grandma. Oh, bye-bye. Bye-bye, we're going bye. ahead now. Bye-bye, <laughs> let's take go. Take care. I'm hungry. Let's go over there. <sighs> Mom, why didn't you tell me you're here? I've been looking for you. Why, what is it? Come on, don't be sad. <sighs> I feel so hopeless. You won't be anymore, because I have some good news. What good news? Mom, you won't believe this. It was such a coincidence. Do you remember before Brother and Purity got married, we set them up on a date? It was with Amanda. You kept calling her Miss A, Miss A. Uh, uh. Well, she came by our restaurant to eat today. And guess what? Amanda told me she didn't get married yet. She's single. Y you sure? And you should have seen her reaction when I told her my brother is also single. She was so happy. But then, where is she? But I'm kind of hesitant, Mom. I mean, maybe we can wait a little longer till we set them up again. In case of purity... What in case? Forget that. Hurry and get in touch with her. We have to set them up again. All right, I did get her number. If you think it's fine, I'll give her a call. Call her. Hurry and call her. But I'm worried that Brother might not like it. How long should we wait? If we wait for him to like it, it will take forever. All right. <sighs> Ernest. Thought you were asleep. Mm. Son, tell me. How much did you drink last night? You look like you have a bad hangover. <sighs> Ernest. Mom wants to talk to you about something. What? Well, Sammy told me that someone we knew came by the restaurant unexpectedly. Guess who she is? Who? It was Ms. A. You remember? Oh, you. You're so forgetful. Before you married Purity, Sammy and I introduced Ms. A to you. Uh... I always forget her name. I think I remember. Okay, good, good, good. The one working at a firm, right? Well... The thing is, Sammy talked to her, and she found out she's still single. So we were thinking, maybe... Okay. Really? Hmm. You want me to find a woman. You want me to marry her. And then have kids and make you a grandma. That's what you want, right? Yes, that's right, hmm. son. I can't believe this, son. 
You, this is a dream come true for Mom. Don't worry, Mom will take care of it, okay? <laughs> hey, Sammy. Listen to me, you must hurry and call her now. Call Miss Asa that your brother can marry her immediately. Oh. Yes, he's all right. All right, good. Yes, okay, do that. Mom is so happy, yes. All right, hurry, okay? <sighs> At last my heart won't be hopeless anymore. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Who is this man? Why are you together? And this is... And this is her boyfriend. I've met her parents already. We're planning to get married. We just had some small misunderstanding lately. Hey! So how about the two of us dating then? I've decided. I'll marry you. Let's forget. Just forget about everything. Both of our families will never get along. Let's not force it. Why don't you trust me, Purity? It's not because I don't trust you, it's because I don't trust myself anymore. We tried to make this work, but it just wouldn't. I don't think I can handle it anymore. Let's just go back to our own houses. And find our own mothers. You okay? Mm. I heard you're still single. Mm. Won't you say anything? Answer properly. Huh? Right then. Hey, I wanted to ask you something. How come your relationship with that woman didn't work out? Didn't my mom tell you yet? She said it was because your personalities clashed, but I don't believe it. So I want to hear it from you. All right. Before I tell you, I have some questions as well. All right. Were you ever pregnant? What? I mean, were you ever pregnant with someone's child? Even abortions count. Oh, Ow, that, oh, that hurts! Why would you do that? Her. Oh, you must go. We can't be seen. Shh. Are you crazy? What? For asking if you were pregnant? I'm asking because if you can't get pregnant, even if we got married, we'd still divorce. That's why it didn't work out for Beauty and I. We can't have kids. What? Are you serious about that? To tell you the truth, we got along well. She's a very amazing person. You won't agree because you don't know her, but if you did, I'm sure you'd like her too. We were college classmates. Since then, Purity became the woman of my dreams. It took a lot of effort before she said yes, but in the end, she couldn't get pregnant. So we got divorced. Wait, hold on a second. So according to your story, both of you got married? Yeah. Oh, I can't believe those two. I didn't know you got married to her. My mom didn't tell you. She didn't! Well, I don't know why she hid this from me. I don't... Hey! That means if I marry you, it's gonna be... It's gonna be your third marriage? Careful with those nails, it looks lethal. Yes, it would be my third, but so what? Hold on, you haven't answered me. Can you have children? <sighs> but why are you so curious about that? Because I have to be. What? Not only do you still like someone else, huh? This is your third time, so don't be picky. Then you can also be curious. Okay, I'll tell you then. I'm 100% positive that I can have kids. So who was a father? What are you doing? Why are you hitting me again? That's the second time you insulted I me! I won't be polite if you hit me again. And then what? You're going to hit me back, huh? Listen to me, Ernest. If I tell you that I can have kids, it means that I can have kids. But tell me, what are you expecting? That you can still freely love another woman and just let somebody else carry your child for your name? Is that it? <laughs> I didn't say that. But that's how it looks like to me. Ernest, do you still like her? If I say I didn't, then I'd be lying. Okay, glad we cleared that out. I wouldn't demand that you change that. However, I have some conditions, okay? The moment that you and I get married, hmm. I get everything. The house, the car, investments, funds, and cash under Ernest Zheng will be transferred under my name, understood? But don't worry, we can have kids right away, okay? 
but I can't control whether we have a girl or a boy. <sighs> I'll just produce the seed you plant. But it's better if you don't get a girl, because if we do and she has small eyes and a big front teeth, she'll certainly hate you. Are you sick? You have medicine? You know what? <laughs> I don't believe in true love, also in happy endings. And after meeting you, I believed it even less. You said you were happy then, but just because she can't have your children, you threw all those away and got divorced. She must have lost a lot. I don't want that. <laughs> That's why I'm not leaving anything out. I get everything. Let's talk about it first. That is my condition! Don't shout. Come on, let's sit here. <laughs> See that? They're getting along well. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going downhill earlier. You know, you shouldn't give up believing that your one true love is still out there. Well, of course, don't be influenced by me. I was forced into this. But why were you forced? To be honest, we were very happy together. She even got pregnant. <sighs> but she had a miscarriage. Because my worthless sister Sammy kicked her and she fell down. She lost the baby, so we divorced. Wow! Your family's really a special level of crazy, especially your mom and your sister. Look, it was clearly their fault that your wife can't have kids. So why did you divorce with her? It wasn't her fault. I don't understand. I didn't want a divorce. It was mainly my mom. Your mom divorced with her? Don't be sarcastic. <laughs> my mom was rushing us to give her a grandson. She's extremely desperate to have one. <sighs> my wife was worried she couldn't give birth anymore and our family line will halt. So she divorced with me. Your wife was a very selfless and kind woman. Yes. Yet you still listened to your mom and agreed to the divorce. I have many regrets. <sighs> your mom looks kind, but I think she was too hard to please. If I were purity, I wouldn't have been kind to her. Listen to me. If your mom and your sister treated me like this, huh, and asks for a divorce, that's impossible. I'm telling you, if you don't promise to repay me with all your fortune, I won't agree to all of this. <laughs> Look at how warmed up they are. They're getting along well. I'm glad I'm still alive to see this day. But why does it look like they're disagreeing about something? Shh, that's nonsense. Look again. <laughs> You're something too. You're really upfront about things. It seems like destiny insists for this. Hold on. I don't want to have any shared destiny with you, okay? Because it's impossible that I'd marry you. Hold up as well. It's impossible that I'd marry you too. <laughs> <laughs> I was starting to think you're crazy for asking for my family fortune. You almost got me. No, you really scared me. <laughs> uh, thanks for that. It's been a while since I laughed. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Mm, there's a bit of wife material in you. It's there. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. I see it, I see it. Hey, after we're done talking, you should hurry up and find your wife. Don't listen to what other people say, okay? You said you were happily married before, right? Also, that you still have feelings for her. So why are we wasting precious time here? What kind of society is this? If you want a kid, you can adopt one. It's too late. How come? She's remarrying her ex-husband. She's what? But what's the rush? Didn't you say you just got divorced? Why is she marrying him again? Yeah, that's where I got really confused as well. Listen, her ex-husband cheated on her, and she doesn't really like him. So why is she doing this to herself, huh? At her age, I expected that she'd know better than to go for what's not good for her. But that's exactly what she did. I know why. What do you know? If your wife's really how you describe her and she still has feelings for you, uh. there's only one reason. It's for your own good. She wants you to lose all hope. And why is that? Are you seriously asking that? Ernest, women could do great things for those they love. That must be it. So you mean Purity did all this for me? Of course she did. I'm telling you, if I were in her position and I had a man who I love so much, then for him I'd be willing to... No, I won't. Why would I? What the hell was your wife thinking? This... this number, what is it? Tell me. That's two. That's right. It's two for twice. And guess what this is? Ooh, ooh, ooh. What is that? Super twice. And this? What is that? Mega twice! <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what. That's mega twice crazy for her to do that, because I'd never do that for someone. Right? <laughs> 
You know, you're really funny. Mm. Guess I didn't come for nothing today. Well, uh... uh... Amanda! Ah, Amanda, mm. right. Well, this was great. If I don't like anyone anymore one day, I'll definitely date you. Oh. Maybe marry you. <laughs> but it seems like that's impossible. All right, I'll go now. Goodbye, and thank you. Hey, don't get divorced again. Why is that? Because if you do that, you'll look for a fourth. <laughs> I'd be crazy. Mm -hmm. All right, then. I'm going. Take care. Go and get her. Hey, how come your brother left? What happened? Go, hurry. This? Hey, Carol. I mean, no offense, okay? But you shouldn't have done that. Your son is still in love with someone else, and you had me see him again. It's like you were playing a trick on me. What? So, where did my brother go? He went to find his wife. What? <sighs> Listen, I have more to say on this. Let Ernest decide. He's old enough. Younger generations should choose their own happiness. You think he'll be happy with someone else? But honestly, with a mother and a sister-in-law like you, who'd like to be a member of your family? In fact, I admire Ernest's ex-wife for her patience with you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Listen, I have another setup in a bit. And from what I heard, he's tall, rich, and handsome. Bye-bye. Take care. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, the man, no, wait. <sighs> I can't believe this purity. Mom, what are you doing? I'm going to call her. That Come girl on. making me upset again. But she didn't do anything right because I'm getting fault. sick of her already. I'm being crazy again. Hey, Corinne. Yes? This is your client's contract. I think someone put it on my desk. All right, that's mine. Thanks. Purity! Hey, listen to me. Didn't we agree that you make my son lose out? How come he's still running after you like a mad dog? Are you still keeping in touch with them? Are you? Or do you really want me to beg? You want an old woman to beg? Then I am begging you, okay? Please don't talk to my son anymore. You have to let Ernest go. Let your past remain buried in the past. I admit our family has wronged you. But don't ruin us by not giving my only son a chance to have his own son. Do you understand? I don't care if you hang up. It doesn't matter. Okay, I still say everything I want. Things I was just embarrassed to say before. Now that you hang up, I'm more inclined to say it to you. What is wrong with you? Why can't you understand? Listen, with you, my son will have no mom, heir. That's enough. I'll have no grandchild, no one to continue my family name. If you really love my son, then then you should leave him alone. Purity, I'm begging you. Don't deprive us an heir. Hey, if you really are a good person, then you should do the best for him, or else in my eyes you're the mom. worst. Hey. And this time you better keep your word. Look, to be honest, I am so sick of you. You should have just kept your promise. You might be divorced by law, but your heart isn't yet, right? That's Come why on, you still can't trust you. Why are you torturing us? Why can't you just leave our family alone? Why can't you do just anything? let my son move on? What Mom, do you listen want? to yourself. You've completely lost it. Do you think she wanted this? I was the one who did this to her. It was my fault, and you're rubbing it in whenever you do this. Why are you saying this? All right, Mom, I'm sorry, but I give up. I've had enough. From now on, I'll never help you find brother a wife. He can let whoever he wants. All right, Mom, listen. Today, I solemnly announce that I resign as your sidekick.
it. How's my little baby doing? It seems like someone received good news. I noticed that you look unusually happy. <laughs> what are you talking about, Peggy? Of course I'm happy. We just got some contracts signed. We signed contracts a lot of times before, but you never seem this happy. What, are you gonna stare at me all day? Get out of here. What do I pay you for? You even smile more now than you did before. <laughs> Oh, you're Hi, here. Good day. Please come in. Whoa. What a surprise. I know I should have called you first, but can we talk? Yes, of course. What is it? I wanted to ask if I can move in with you. <laughs> yes, of course you can. But I want this to be clear. I'll move into your house, but you'll treat me like a boarder. You let me pay rent, and I'll take Winnie with me. <sighs> Purity. What are you talking about? I'm going to be honest. I'm just doing this to make Ernest feel that it's really over. That guy's still harassing you? I'm gonna teach him a lesson. Why would you do that? Because that man must be out of his mind. He asked for the divorce, but now he bothers you? What's he playing at? I'm gonna teach him a lesson. Stop it! What are you doing? Just mind your own business! Or I won't move in anymore! Alright, alright. Fine, fine, fine. I won't do anything. Just move in. Just move in. We'll do it your way. It's gonna be my way. Now let's talk about the terms. What terms are you talking about? My rental fees. But I should tell you, I can't afford it if it's too expensive. Maybe a thousand a month? I just want the smallest room. That's for the maid. I'm fine with that. But it's not gonna be fine for her. You really have a maid? Oh, come on. My place is a mess. How could I not hire a maid? The other small one, then. The room next to Winnie's. I suppose that's vacant? Can you stop messing around already? My way, remember? That's a deal. Do you have the spare time? Yes, I do. Why? You move in now? Yes. All right, I get it. You just feel forced because of him. He got you cornered. What has he done to you now that you're so eager to leave him? I'm gonna beat that guy to a pulp! Matt, can you please get a grip of yourself? Let me remind you that we're not married. Stay out of this, I can handle it myself. I want to get involved because you can't handle it. Why are you such a know-it-all? That and your temper is what I hate about you. I guess you haven't changed at all. <laughs> it's not funny. Hey. Come on, have a seat. Let's not fight. Let's talk. Come on. <sighs> you know what? You've changed. I mean, really changed. But tell me, how are you with other people? I'm asking because I'm curious. Are you really this rash with everyone you speak to? Or are you only like this with me? What are you saying? Do I talk rashly? Mm -hmm. Am I really? Mm -hmm. The way I was just now, it was rash. <laughs> but I just wanted to say how I really felt. Though it was the same feelings that I had when I was living with you. But I was afraid to say it back then. So I kept quiet. I had no choice, you're the one supporting us. But now I can stand on my own. So now I won't hold it in. I wouldn't keep quiet. I can say whatever I want. Earlier you were throwing a fit and it got to me. That's why I got rash. Tell you the truth. While I was listening to you talking like that, I suddenly felt like we were back in time. Back when we first met. You had that, that attractive energy. Um, with a notion that you can do anything, anything you want. You amazed me. Back then I thought this girl was 
interesting, intelligent, beautiful. What are you doing? Huh? Don't make this an intimate conversation, okay? You're giving me goosebumps. But listen, I'm telling the truth. You sounded the very same way you were back then. Maybe a little proud, though. When I met you, you were full of life. Nothing compared to you. That's when I knew for sure that I fell in love. You know what's the difference between you and Ernest? What's the difference? You destroyed me before, and Ernest turned me into the person I am now. No, but that's impossible. That man doesn't look like he's capable of doing anything. I knew you wouldn't believe me, but I'm telling you, this is the truth. But I won't waste time convincing you. Hello, Mom. I'm moving out with Winnie in a bit. You don't have to worry about where. Checkmate. Okay. Now this. Honey, I need to talk to you about something. Okay. Huang, sorry, but I gotta go now. Mm. Let's do this again tomorrow, okay? It's okay, no problem, I'll call okay. You first thing. What is it? Purity said they're moving out. But where's she going? Going back to her old home. Her old home? Is she getting married to Matt again? I don't know. She didn't go into details with me. But what made her decide to move back with him? I have no idea. And there's more. She even got impatient with me when I started asking questions about it. I wonder what's gotten to our daughter recently. We can't let her do this to herself again. I was waiting for you to say that. So when she comes in, you have to lecture her. I don't know what's going on inside her head. She hated that man before. <sighs> oh, my daughter. Mom? What's going on with... Uh... Dad. Why are you here? Well, I'm looking for her. Why is that, Ernest? Does she know you're coming to see her? Well... My daughter's not here. And even if she were, I don't think I'd let her come down and see you. I hope you won't get offended. But you're already divorced, right? Since you're already leading separate lives, then just live them well. Don't harass her anymore. Let my purity live in peace. Harass? Yes. Hey, you don't have to talk like that. Isn't that what he's doing? Ernest, don't blame Auntie for the truth. Auntie? <sighs> yes, that's correct. I'm back to being your Auntie. <sighs> and since you've already come all the way here to talk, I'll take this opportunity. There's no use prolonging it, so I'll just say it. Purity's already preparing- Hey! hey. Stop talking nonsense. This isn't nonsense. This is for his own good. What? Ernest, listen to me. I'm telling you, I was informed that our purity is getting married to Matt. And as her parents, we already agreed to it. She just called and said she was coming to get her things to immediately move in with Matt. Honey, let's go. Mom! <sighs> please, please don't call me that. I'm not your mom anymore. Dad! Yeah. <laughs> mom! I beg you, can you just hear me out first? No, I don't want to listen. Please just go, I won't hear any of Mom, it. Mom, just please hear me out for a second. I kept asking myself if this is really the life I want to live, and now I have my answer. I was just forced into getting a divorce with Purity. This is what Purity and my mother wanted for me. Purity was forced to pretend she wants to have a divorce with me too. I really regret it, Mom. Why did I divorce her? What on earth was I thinking? I've decided. I want to marry her again. I want to marry her right now. This... This is a bit messy. It's a lot messy. Sorry, I can't accept that. Mom. If you can accept Matt again, then why can't you accept me? I... because I can only accept one. But I can compete with him fairly! This... Son... I'm sorry, but you have to let this go. Uh, Ernest, please just leave. But I can compete with him in all aspects, Mom! For goodness sake, Aaron, what are we gonna do with these, huh? Who are you calling Mom, huh? Is your mom here? And what did you say? Who will you compete with? Me? I can compete with you. You know what? I really do pity you, Ernest. Just go home, buddy. Ernest... I have already made a decision. And it is final. 
Now I'm moving back with Matt. I've only come to get my things. So don't come looking for me. Live your own life and move on. Just forget everything. Forget me. I hope you find happiness too. Dad, Mom, Matt, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mom. Oh, Matt. Let me get the door. Okay. Uh, Matt. After here. you. Go on. Have a seat. Thanks, Mom. Come here. <sighs> Have a drink. Thanks. Dad. Mom. I know it's been a while since I was able to talk to you. And, and I am sorry. But now that I'm here, I want to redeem myself for all the things I've done. In my heart, you're my real parents. That's why I was so ashamed to come here before or talk to both of you. I admit that I made a lot of mistakes, not only to purity, but also with you her parents. These past few days, I realized a lot. One of those is that I can't live without purity in my life. When she and Winnie left, my heart felt so empty it was horrible, and I had to drag myself up every day. But purity, you don't have to hide it. Because I can feel that in your heart, you still love Ernest. And I don't blame you. I know you're someone who places value in feelings, and you two were married. So it'll take time for you to forget about him. But that's fine with me. I can wait. And I will wait until you return to me, no matter how long it takes. Because you, me, and Winnie, we're a family. You're my only family. So I won't stop believing that we can live happily again. I promise you, Purity. I won't make the same mistakes again. So please, believe what I'm saying. Please. I'm begging you, Purity. Honey, it's time. We have to pick up the child. Oh, that's right, of course. Oh, no, no I'll, I'll go. go. Stay here. It's Dad, I, I can pick her up. You stay here. It's fine. Purity, can we go inside for a bit? Matt, make yourself at home. We'll Thanks. just go inside to prepare things. Call me if you need any help. All Mom. right. Okay?
Sweetheart. Stop packing for a bit. Let's talk about this first, okay? All right, Mom. Tell me. What have you really decided on? Decided on what? I mean between Ernest and Matt. Who do you really choose? I don't know either. I really didn't think about anything. I didn't think it through. Listen to me. If you really aren't decided yet, then don't do this. Because not only is it bad for you, it's also unfair for both of them. Look, I know that even if you asked for a divorce with Ernest, you love him. You don't have to deny it. And it's because of too much love for him that you are willing to sacrifice your happiness in marriage, right? But you have to understand, if you reconcile with Ernest and live with him, with Sammy and his mother pressuring you, will you be able to breathe and live peacefully? Is this how you want to spend your life? While Matt, what he said today really moved me. I think he's really changed, and he wants you back. He still loves you. He knew he was wrong, and he'll make it up to you. Maybe you should give him a chance, and give yourself a chance too. Think about it. Isn't that good for Winnie too? She'll be happy to see her parents together. Mom and Dad don't care whoever you choose. Just be happy. I don't want you hurting. It hurts me more, and also your father. So please think about it. But whatever you choose, you'll always have us. We're just here waiting for you. We love you so much. Okay? I understand. I'll think about it. Yeah. 